Okay, friends, we're just gonna go with it. I'm done trying. I think I'm in the right spot. Um, Tanya will tell me if I'm not because we're normally doing this together and um, you know, my phone is now all kinds of wonky which ways. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right spot. And I have no idea. You know, I was, oh, there I am. And I, look at me, I'm up close, I've got a flashlight on. I don't even know how that came off. Let me see if I can turn my flashlight on so it's not shining in my face. And then, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Let's see if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Um, Cause I can't tell. And I don't know how to turn the flashlight off. Okay, so if there's comments, I'm gonna see. See if I can see comments. Uh, who knows? Um, Tanya is the technology guru and we know that about her. Oh, hi, Teresa. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, you can hear me. Okay. Um, we know Tanya is the technology person, so now I gotta turn this down. Um, and she wasn't able to do it today. She's gonna do it tomorrow. So I have some fun things that I'm gonna show you. And um, we're going to turn this down and hopefully I can get this to work because again, technology is my friend. No, Tanya is my friend. Technology is not. So I'm going to poke this, turn my phone around and see if I can get you to see this okay. Oh, do you like my Grinch outfit? My grandchildren love the Grinch. So this is my Grinch sweater. So I'm going to turn this down and make sure you can see my project because that's the whole point of all this, right? I'm getting ready for like a hundred different things. I've got camp this week. I've got front projects to do with my team. Um, and I have, uh, like I've just been doing all kinds of things. Okay, so let me see if I can make it so you can see this better and flip it. Nope, don't know how to do it. I'm touching buttons and it's gonna do something weird probably who knows, but I'm touching buttons and I, oh, wait, wait, boom, baby. Okay, so that's the way I want you to be able to see it, except it's sideways. Maybe if I turn it, see what that does. I mean, I practiced like 10 times. If you said, oh, look, she's gonna go live and then she's not, and then she is, and then she's not. Oh, that's better. All right. Um, okay, so here we go. All right, I'll move this out of the way because I practiced in, okay, if you see this glass mat, if you're a demonstrator, order it. If you're not a demonstrator, you can get it by signing up to be one during sale celebration, which is January and February. And um, it's, I'm gonna love it with my whole heart. It's got a little spongy thing that sits on there and um, I like it. But what I want to show you today is this is an online exclusive. One of the things that Tanya and I are trying to do by showing you online exclusives and the new kits is just, it gives you an opportunity to see some things that aren't in the catalog. So we have Facebook groups, um, Stampin' Up! Online Exclusive Fan Club and Stampin' Up! Kits Fan Club. And you're welcome to join the groups and then you can see us do projects once a week. The goal is to do them Monday at noon and um, so I wanted to use this, this bubble, this, and I wanted to make a cocktail with it. Okay, so this is my old fashioned. Um, I have some fun projects that I'm gonna do that aren't alcoholic, but this is kind of fun. Always refreshing, simply sparkling, slightly sour, fantastic. Okay, so, and then I added some embellishments. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. The first thing I did was I stamped the can on Whisper White, or Basic White. And then I took my die, I cut out the full can, and then I scooched it up and cut the top off. And in the scrap, I cut out my fruit. Mine's a lemon. When I have an old fashioned, I have an orange. I'm not sure why I made it a lemon. 
I should probably change colors. Um, so what I did then was I took a, and I did it on a note card and envelope because I just wanted a small little detailed note card and envelope. I took two and a half by three and a quarter. I'm going to put my can on here so I kind of know where I want to stamp around it. And then I'm going to put the Fistastic at the bottom first. So I get that on there where I want it. And then I'm gonna add my other fun little words. And I can move this out of the way now because I have a pretty good idea where it is and I don't mind that these words are in different spots. This glass mat comes with a chamois to wipe it off. Simply sparkling. Um, it's great. Of course, the pink is not the color that I want. I knew I was going to do that. I'm going to put the bubbles here so I don't do it again. Let's go ahead and make this. I'm going to go ahead. I'll keep this slightly sparkling. And I'm not looking at comments, so forgive me. When Tanya and I do this together, she's. it's better to have a team. Um, but you can see her tomorrow. She's got some fun projects she's working on for tomorrow. Okay, always refreshing. I'm gonna move these out of the way so I don't accidentally stamp something with them like I just did this. Now I'm gonna add my bubbles. And this is in Bubble Bath, which is fun. I'm gonna move it out of the way and I'm actually done stamping. So all my stamping's done. I'm gonna color my old fashioned, and I use the light and the dark wild wheat. That's what I decided to do. So I used, oh, and then I did this. I stamped a rim. I used the bottom of this and I stamped a rim on that. What did it just say? I apologize if you're seeing the top of my head. So there's the top to my glass because I wanted it to have a little top. And it doesn't match perfectly, but I can. that's where I can stick my fruit or do something a little different. So I took my dark wheat, wild wheat, and I went around the outside. Then I took my light wild wheat. My old fashions always have a cherry in the bottom. I like it more with a little bit of orange. I should change the color of my fruit. It's okay, the lemon's cute. I'll keep it the way it is. Okay, so there's my old fashioned. I colored it. And now I'm going to adhere it down. And I took the seal across the bottom and then stuck a dimensional up here at the top so it would raise up a little bit and then I put glue dots in the corners. I think Tanya's going to use the same set tomorrow. I can't wait to see what she does. I want to use it at camp this month. I haven't decided what I want to do. So now my drink has some dimension. I've got the glue dots in the corner, the seal across the bottom, and the dimensional to kind of hold it up so that it's elevated a little bit. Then I took, okay, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the card and I'm going to do this last. Okay, so I put it on a little bit of bubble bath. I 
I took my note card and envelope. I used my Wonder Basement bone folder, which is fantastic. And then I took this beautiful shimmer paper from the catalog and I ran through the bubbles. First, I put some adhesive back on it so it's like a sticker. And I ran it through the bubbles. And these little bubbles will peel off and be amazing all over the front of your card. I'm gonna move that out of the way before I lay something on it. And then this just comes off. All right, where's my U-Pick tool when I need it? Not, oh, that's just poking that out. Let's go up here. Well, that's just poking a bubble out. So all these little bubbles have adhesive back and I can pull them off and stick them. And then this is gonna peel off. Is that not the cutest thing? So I took the adhesive back off my bubbles and stuck it all around my card. So that's what these are. And then this, I whacked in half. And if there's comments, Tanya's monitoring my comments, and then I'm gonna monitor hers tomorrow since we couldn't be together. I'm gonna put this right up here. Which makes it so nice with these bubbles. They're so cute. When they're pink and sparkly, it's even better. So this, I have a sister um, who has a birthday in January, and um, she doesn't watch this, so it's fine, because this is going to be her birthday card. Because she loves to make a cocktail. We tease her that she's a drink pusher. She's really not, but that's what we tease her about, because that's what sisters do. If you have sisters, you know, if you're not giving each other a hard time, or, you know, just for fun. Oh, excuse me. No, I don't have a cold. I have crazy allergies. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here. See? Cute. And then I'm going to color the sky. And I just made that outside. This is Dark Daffodil Delight. And this is Light Lemon Lolly. I wanted those two colors. Look, there's my glass mat. I can clean it off when I'm all done. I'm so excited. I love this thing. Then I slid it down the middle. Stuck a dimensional on the part that's going to go inside the cup. And stuck that on my cocktail. Then I took some cinnamon, copper clay. I wanted to say cinnamon cider, like where did that come from? And I broke down all the fibers and like tore it apart because I wanted it to have a cinnamon stick. And then I just rolled it real tight. And again, stuck a glue dot on it. This is a little thick. It looks more like a cigar. I'm going to take some of this off. I don't want a cigar in my cocktail. I have team members coming over tonight. I've got four projects for them. I've got camp this week. I'm working on my six projects for camp. I've got three done. And the ideas. I need to send them an email. I've got cookies to bake. I love to bake cookies. My daughter-in-law texted me this morning. We got together yesterday and celebrated birthdays and my grandson was having cheesecake for breakfast. He got all this chores done and that was his reward for getting them all done in a timely fashion and not complaining. Cheesecake for breakfast, not a bad way to start your day. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this fine tip glue, and this is how I'm going to finish my card. I wanted it to look like this was wet. So I'm going to use this fine tip glue and squeeze it all over the front of my card. Move some of the bird around so I don't get it too thick. And this is going to take a minute to dry. That's why I went ahead and um, put, assembled it all. Because it's just going to take a minute to dry. So I'm going to push this all over the front of my, my glass. And then I wanted it to have a pretty rim. So I'm going to go up here. And if I'm not sure that this is going to hold on, I can always add a little over there, or a little here. I mean, I don't think that lemon's going to go anywhere, but now for sure it's not. So to put this fine tip back on, I always just hold my finger there with one of the tips and then slide it on. I'm at a weird angle. For you to see and for me to see, I can't always get it in the right spot. So we're going to make sure I can see. And then you just have to believe that that's what I just did. <laughs> so then I took these where'd they go oh right here you were going they're right there these are the iridescent shaker circles and i put them all over so i could have some beautifulness on my cocktail so it just looks like a party you hear my dogs? That means someone is coming down our road. No one is allowed down our road. So there you go. A little fun. And then I will peel the backs of these off and add my circles like I did this one. Because there they are. All right. I am not going to try to turn this phone towards me because, well, you know how that goes. So hopefully you have a friend, a fun friend who likes a good old fashioned and I will monitor Tanya's comments tomorrow. So thanks for joining me and um, I hope you have a great day. If you don't have a catalog and you want one, just know that it won't be long before those um, catalogs are available for us to mail to you. You can contact me or any of my friends and then, um, yeah, don't hesitate to ask us questions because we love this. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Bye.